I am proud to launch the Fingal strategy for housing dis disability people, which I believe will help secure a better housing experience for people and help them to live the life they want to lead. This is a really important piece of work that brings increased opportunities for independence and that supports the physical, mental and emotional well-being of people. In developing this strategy, we have seen very good collaboration for our, from our organisations, end users and other stakeholders from right across the county. And I would like to thank everyone for their input. By sharing their experiences and giving vital insights into how we can improve their options, we can fully understand and appreciate the challenges associated with finding the right home and the essential services that are needed to make this strategy work in the best possible way. The strategy shows that there are many reasons to be positive about the future, not only in terms of delivering the right type of homes, but also by helping to create the neighbourhoods and inclusive communities which make Fingal a great place to live. In many ways, this is a societal response. And so Fingal is providing a leadership role, a coordinating role within the local authority and tying into the national objective. So we work with a range of stakeholders, people who provide supports to disabled people in the community, people who provide housing options, and provide perhaps social services and Fingal probably has a significant role in terms of housing anyway as a housing authority we have to provide housing for people who have particular needs uh, and, and within that group are people with disabilities so we have targets in uh, produce between 10 and 30 percent of our housing is suitable for people with disabilities we also look at people who have particular needs more profound needs within that and try and cater for their needs but it isn't just about housing and it isn't just about Fingal and no one entity can do that so that's why it's really important that we work with a range of stakeholders in fact in preparing the strategy we have a steering group in place that's made up of Fingal County Council and a whole range of stakeholders uh, that are locally based that are there to prepare the strategy implement it and monitor its implementation. So some of the background to preparing the strategy was Fingal engaging with all of the stakeholders involved, um, like ourselves, St Michael's House, which has been very beneficial, but has also allowed us to advocate on behalf of our uh, service users, the people we support. For the individuals that St Michael's House supports, specifically in our day services, this is establishing a pathway to housing and a formal pathway. So it's no longer ad hoc, it will be, you know, all of our day service users, we will be encouraging and have been encouraging in recent years to get onto a local authority housing list. That is their first step to housing and to long-term housing um, for them to have a choice, their will and preference as to what their future looks like. It opens up huge opportunities for all of the individuals that we provide support for because it's allowing them to take part in community activities, to be part of the community they live in, to have choice about where they live, choice about who they live with um, and real control over their future and their life with the support that they need. So it's, it's huge, it's a huge step forward, it's independence, true independence. VISTA represent um, people with intellectual disability. We provide um, day services and residential services for people with intellectual disability. I think the strategy has meant that our individual users have an opportunity now that it's, it's focused, that there's an opportunity there, that people are actually thinking about them and that they're getting represented because the people we support are the most vulnerable within society. Um, I think that being able to go on the housing waiting list, have open information available to them, um, that they know what that means. For people who are living at home who, aren't, who don't avail of a residential service um, and live at home with mum and dad or, or their siblings, um, that they know that they can go on the housing waiting list um, and, and what does that mean and um, I think um, Fingal um, have done a great job at uh, providing information that's open and clear and transparent for those individuals. I think the commitment from the council um, means that they care, it means that they see these people um, with, with, with intellectual disability within society as really, really important and they can add something to society. Um, I think historically 
people with intellectual disability um, may have been pushed over to one side in society. I feel now that they've got a, a, a good representation, that they can have a job, that they can have a place to live like you, I and everyone else has, that they're not living in a congregated setting, um, seeing the same staff every day supporting them. When they look out their door, the only other people they see on the campus they're living on is other people with intellectual disability. By them being able to have an opportunity to integrate into society, to live in a community home, um, to, to, to see the same people you and I and everybody else see on a daily basis. This is a community house where we have um, about eight, eight to seven ladies. One is respite, but we have seven ladies that are permanently resident here. And um, our role here is basically to support the lady uh, with their medical needs, with um, their social needs, um, getting them out there in the community, supporting them um, in all aspects of their life. Um, just to ensure that they are able to integrate into the society as the need be and also to support their um, mental well-being as well and as a whole as a wholeness just everything about them is just for us to give them that guidance and support in their daily lives and activities they need to be in an environment that doesn't portray their in, in, in an institution they will be in an environment like you and I would live in so we have tried to make that environment that this is a home for them. So we need for them to feel that this is their home, where they can be safe, where they can be, they will feel secure, and where they will feel that they are also in the society as well as everyone else. Carrie, do you like it here? Yes. That's good. We have ladies attending day services. So we have ladies attending in Tufa, where they do various workshops. We have ladies, um, some of our ladies have retired, but still, um, they still engage in um, what they call Happy Days Club, which is like bingo and other various activities. And for those that are not even engaging, we still take them out for um, community visit, like um, lunch, go shopping, you know, just anything that you do in the community yourself would engage them in. So everyone is doing something. HAIL uh, stands for the Housing Association for Integrated Living. The strategy is for us is a really big step forward. Um, it's developing a very thoughtful plan to increase housing opportunities uh, for people with disabilities. For us, we work with people with mental health challenges and the strategy is coming together of several years work um, for people like Hale and other members of the steering committee. The steering committee is a, a really dynamic partnership of different disability groups uh, working together with Fingal County Council um, and it's been a very good example of organisations pulling together uh, for our kind of collective aims to try to improve housing outcomes for people with a disability. Hale works with people um, with often who uh, are in long-term HSE accommodation in long-term psychiatric units. Uh, we work to enable and we have a long record in Fingal of helping people move from congregated settings into their own apartments. Hale has long believed that housing really is the cornerstone of providing uh, people's, enabling people's journey of recovery to be able to move on integrate into the community and the strategy is a very important part of that process. I've gone back over a number of years there's been a recognition by central government that uh, some key aspects were missing in relation to the delivery of services to people with disabilities uh, so the strategy was, in, strategy was implemented to address this uh, to ensure equality of access for everyone within the housing support system. The, the, the principal aims are to address the issue of accessibility uh, uh, to ensure that uh, people with disabilities uh, access uh, areas that they are entitled to get uh, support from, access to staff with expertise. Um, uh, one key aspect of the process was to change the housing uh, support application form, which is a significant document. but. Uh, uh, for example, one key change to that was, was a specific question introduced uh, to ask people, do you need uh, wheelchair accessible accommodation? So uh, things like that uh, were critical uh, to address the needs of people with, with disabilities to ensure that they can live independently, have access to opportunities uh, from their home, 
and obviously uh, uh, people work from home quite a bit now so access to good quality accommodation is essential. Specifically I'd like to thank our own team in housing. Uh, Loretta Hennessy has done Trojan work in um, preparing the strategy, making sure that it's implemented, working with all the partners. So it's a huge effort from our housing department. But in particular, I'd like to thank the, the stakeholders, that wider community, the members of the steering group, the users, people with disabilities who live in accommodation, who have really brought meaning to the whole work of the group and brought something, a sort of a, a reality to it, to make sure that what we're doing is meeting the needs of the people now and into the future.